Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Strength and Balance. This morning, we are going to use a little bit of weight. So if you don't have any uh, hand weights at home, you can use some soup cans or something along those lines. Um, you do not have to use the weight. You can simulate the weight. Uh, we're not using it too much. Uh, there's four exercises that we will be using it. So if you have it, great. If not, um, that's fine too. I will show you how to modify with the weight that you have when we get there, but we are going to warm up first. I'm going to turn on the music. We'll start up on our feet. All right. So let's start up on our feet, big arm circles, wake up the shoulders. Hopefully we're warm today. It's a little chilly out and it's definitely cold in my basement. Think full range of motion, spread the fingers up at the top. Let's do one more each side. And then we'll take those arms in the opposite direction. Big circle, whoops, watch out for my light bulb. Let's do one more each side. And then let's reach those arms overhead. So I'm going to shift my weight, reach overhead, feel it down the side of your body, reach, and then shift your weight to the other side. time as you reach across. One more each side. Then let's uh, reach across. So pivot on that back toe. I'm going to step here so you can see. Pivot on that back toe as we reach across. So we're going to move the hips and then the opposite side. Make sure we stand upright. We don't want to lean forward, keeping that core nice and tight. Let's do one more each side, then we'll go all the way around. So I'm going to back up again, two overhead alternate and then two across two overhead and two across you can speed it up if you're feeling warmed up if you're feeling like you need to go a little bit slower then slow it down you do not have to stay with my speed but it's important to remember that you need to focus on that full range of motion so you don't want to go so fast that you're shortening that range of motion. We want the nice, long, straight arms. One more all the way around. <clears throat> and let's roll those shoulders back. Big circles, bringing the shoulders up, around and down. Thank you. 
Let's hold those shoulders down and back and take your head, look to the right and to the left. Loosen up the neck. Try to get as much range of motion that you can. One more each side. And then a soft bend in your knee. We are going to go into those swimmers. So one arm forward, one arm back, swing the arms. Try to keep them straight. Pressing through the heels, soft bend in that knee. And release, take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through your mouth. Stop those arms at shoulder height. At shoulder height, we are making small circles in one direction. And the opposite direction. Make sure your palms are facing the floor. and release. Now bring those arms back out to the side, but palms are facing forward. And now bring your arms a little bit behind the body, but the shoulders are down, so make sure we're not shrugging, relax. Then give yourself a hug, one arm comes on top. And then open up, bring those hands behind, drop the shoulders, then give yourself a hug, and the opposite arm comes on top. And alternate between the arms. Again, take your time, but don't shorten that range of motion if you do speed up a little bit. So we want that full range of motion. Open the chest and squeeze the chest. Open and squeeze. Let's do one more per side. And release, alternating heels to the front. So right and left, we are digging them into the floor. A little bend in that knee, pressing through that opposite heel as we bring the heels to the front. And you can chop those arms. One more each side, then we'll take them back. So we'll alternate tapping the toes back. Hey. Again, we wanna make sure that we maintain our weight on that stationary leg. So we don't wanna step back. We wanna keep our weight here and just tap that leg back. One more each side and you can release up on those toes for your calf raises up and down for 10. Here's two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine, last one, and that's 10. We're going to stabilize now on that right leg and heel and toe on the left. So soft bend in that right he a knee, pressing through the right heel, take that left heel, bring it forward and toes back, forward and back. That midsection is nice and tight. You can go as fast or as slow 
as you want, but we really want to make sure that we have control and we want to focus on that balance. Let's switch it to the other side. So now we'll stabilize on that left. Soft, natural bend in that left knee, heel and toe on the right. And release. Back to your calf raises for 10, up and down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now I'm gonna grab a chair. If you have a chair or a bench or something, we're going to do sit to stands in a second. And I'm going to also grab my weights. So, whoops. If you don't have a set of weights, you can use a soup can or no weight, whatever is appropriate for you. If you don't need those weights yet, and we actually don't need to sit on the chair yet, I'm going to use the chair to balance first. So if you would rather use a wall, or pole or something to help balance first, that's okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to hold on to whatever surface we would like to, a soft bend in that same leg that is holding on, that arm's holding on. We are taking that opposite knee, bringing that knee up to center, around and down. Hip circles, we are going five in each direction. So let's bring that left knee up, around and down, that's one. And two, three, four, five. Oops, that was it. Now the opposite direction. I got excited, I want to do more. Now we're gonna bring the knee to the outside in and down for five. Outside, in, and down, that's one. Open up that hip. Two. Three. Four. And five. Now we'll take that same leg and swing it forward and back for five. So leg forward and back, that's one. Two, stand up tall. Three, four, and five. Now I'm gonna move on over to the other side. If you wanna spin around, you can. I'm gonna try not to trip on my weights. Same thing on the opposite side. So now we are going to bring that knee up, around and down. That's one. Two. Three. Four and five. Now five in the opposite direction. One, two, three, four, and five. Now that leg swing, five, forward and back. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. So now we are going to get into your sit to stands. No weights yet this time through. We have three exercises. We are going to do your sit to stands, then your bent over rows. We'll do the bent over rows on the right and on the left, so that'll be two separate parts, and then a hammer curl. So there'll be three exercises for the set. We are going through each exercise three times. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So be mindful of your weight. We will be doing your sit to stands, like I said, three times with breaks in the middle. So my goal is 10. If 10 is too many for you, I'd like you to, to do less, 
but if you're feeling strong, you can always do more. If you're feeling like you can do a lot more, I really want you to slow it down and pause. Let's talk about these sit to stance. So we're going to sit at the edge of your chair or your bench. Now you wanna sit upright. We don't wanna lean over or we don't wanna lean all the way back. So our feet are flat on the floor, pressing through the heels. I'd like you to have a nice wide stance. Abdomen is tight, a little lean forward and stand up, squeeze the butt and then come back down. When you come down, it's important that we don't rock back. We just wanna hold here, bracing that core. Whoops, cat jumped on the table if you felt a little earthquake. <laughs> We're gonna stand back on up. We're going for 10-ish, that's two. So again, at your own pace, this is three. If 30 total sit to stands are too much for you, that's four, then again, do less. Five, chest is up, eyes are forward. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And last one, that is 10. Now we are going to go into your bent over rows. I would like you to use your chair for that bent over row. So if you're familiar what a bent over row is, you can grab a weight if you have one. If this is your first time, I'd like you to do it without weight first to feel the movement and then you can always add weight the next time through. So left hand will be on the chair. We'll step our right leg back. Now make sure we don't round. We don't want to round the back. We want to flatten out the back. Shoulders are square. Hips are square. If you have a weight, it will be in your right hand. That right hand will be pointed. If you extend that pointer finger, it'll be down towards the floor, not forward. Shoulders down. Then we are driving that elbow back, squeezing the back and releasing. <laughs> That's one. So if you don't have weight, I really want you to pause then release and accentuate that movement. That was two. If you'd like to add weight, you can add weight. Three. Four. Opsock is helping. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. You wanna keep your core nice and tight. Nine and 10. Oops, I keep getting it stuck in my pocket. When you're finished, we are going to sew each side. So again, you don't have to go do the same amount of repetitions that I do at your own pace. Sew it to the other side. Now the right hand is on the chair, right leg is forward, back is flat. And let's begin. That's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You can release when you are ready. Now I'm going to have you grab both weights if you have two set, if you have two weights. We are going to go right into those hammer curls. So palms face forward and curl up and down. That's one. Two, you wanna squeeze the bicep. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You can release. So now we are going to do those three one more time. We're going to pick up the pace a little bit. So if you need to still slow it down, that's okay. Again, at your own pace. We know what we're doing. 
for your sit to stands. If you would like to add weight, you can take your weights and keep them right up by the shoulders and 10 sit to stands. Down and up, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Then right into those bent over rows. When you're ready, maintain that nice flat back. Drive that elbow back. One. Shoulders are square, hips are square. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. Then the opposite side. One, two, three, four, five. Then we are standing on up for 10 hammer curls. Stand up, shoulders down, and curl up and down. That's one, two, three, uh -oh. four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to take a little bit of a break before we go into that third set, third and last set. So here I really want you to do however many perfect form of the exercise. So however many sit to stands you can do with that perfect form, rows you can do with that perfect form, hammer curls, what you can do with that perfect form. Now, if we're flying through them, you're not engaging that muscle. I'd rather slow it down and slow it down. You'll get a much better workout. All right, last time through, 10 of each, then we'll grab some water and make our way down to the floor. Sit to stands. So that's one. You do not have to use weight. Two. That's up to you. Brace your core though. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and 10. Now those bent over rows. Make sure your shoulders are down and you have a flat back. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and your hammer curls last set of ten. One, two, three, four. Squeeze the biceps, that's five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and that's number 10. You can release, so keep the weights by the mat because we will use them when we come down to the floor, but we are done with that chair. You can move the chair away. If you need to, you can roll out those shoulders a little bit. Take a couple deep breaths in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Grab some water when you are ready. Then we are going to make your way down to the floor on your back. I'm gonna grab some water. So on your back. Knees are bent, pelvic tilt, strong core, feet about hip width distance apart or a little bit wider. So we are going to do your bridges. If you would like to add weight to the hip bones, you can, I'm not going to this set, I will after this. So again, 10 is our number, pelvic tilt, press that low back down to the floor, core is tight, shoulders down, Lift your hips up, squeeze the butt at the top, and then slowly lower down. That's one, two, three. You wanna maintain that pelvic tilt the whole time. That's four. You don't wanna push the hips through. We want to keep a flat back. That's five. You can hear my cat come running down the stairs. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. That's 10. Now we can grab our weights and go right into that chest press. So we are going to bring the elbows out at about 45 degrees. When the elbows are out at about 45 degrees, we wanna make sure that the wrist is in line with the elbow, shoulders are down, abdomen is tight, brace the core, then we are pressing straight up and back down with the weights. We have 10. So let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten now we are going to go into triceps for that skull crusher now if your weights are too heavy you can take one dumbbell or one soup can hold either end elbows up towards the ceiling come down elbows are up towards the ceiling and up squeeze the triceps at the top or one in each hand as you come down keep the elbows in and up. All right, let's go for 10. That was one. Actually, that was two, but that's okay. Two. 
Three, keep your core tight. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10, you can release on down. So now we are going to do the same thing, starting with those bridges. So if you would like to take your weights, keep them on the hips, hands must stay on the weights. Pelvic tilt, abdomen is tight. Back to 10 bridges, let's begin. Up and squeeze. And down, that's one. Pelvic tilt. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, you can release right into 10 chest presses. Press up and down, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then those triceps, the skull crushers, arms up, bending at the elbow, weights come down next to the shoulders, elbows are up. And one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. That is 10. You can release the weights down. Take a second. <clears throat> so this is our last round with the weights. This is our last round of this sequence. So if you can do more bridges, throw in a couple more bridges. If you feel like they're really easy, go really slow. Same thing with the chest presses and the skull crushers. Last set, give it your all. Do what you need to do, but make sure that form always comes before reps so you're if you do 10 of them but only three are with good form only three count so make them count pelvic tilt lift the hips up and squeeze then slowly lower down that's one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's 10. Now we are going right into those chest presses, elbows out at uh, 45 degrees, punch the ceiling, and down, that's one. Two. Three. Four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And those skull crushers for the triceps down and up. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, one more. And 10, you can release, push the weights aside. We are done with them today. Just make sure you don't trip on them after. When you're finished, you can pull both knees into your chest, hug your knees in, we'll rock side to side, take a little break here. And from here, take your time. We are going to roll over to your stomach. Roll over to your stomach and into that child's pose. So we'll hold here, push your hips over heels, walk your hands forward. I'm going to grab my timer here in a second. So take your time, hold in child's pose. So from here, we are going to come on up into your low plank. <clears throat> so your low plank will do for 30 seconds. I'm sure our shoulders are a little fatigued, our arms are a little fatigued. I'm going to show you that low plank first, then we'll get into it. So forearms will be parallel. I'd like you to step one leg back and then step the other leg back. That'll maintain a nice flat back. We will hold that posture for uh, 30 seconds. All right, everybody. Up and hold, please. Hold that low plank. So shoulders are square, hips are square, shoulders are down, abdomen is tight. Pull the belly button up towards your spine. We have 10 more seconds, stay strong. Five, four, three, two, and time. Come on down, push back into child's pose. Butt back over heels, walk those hands forward. Then we are going to come on up into that bird dog. 30 seconds aside. We'll do a static hold bird dog. So I'd like you to come up into that tabletop position. So wrist is in line with shoulder, tuck the toes, knees are in line with the hips. From here, I'm going to have you extend that right arm forward, palm face in, left leg long, flex that foot. Hips and shoulders are square. Let's hold here for 30 seconds. Let's hold. Shoulders are down. Belly button up towards your spine. Make sure you are breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. You can release. Same thing on the opposite side. Left arm forward, right leg back, and let's hold. So left arm is forward, right leg is back, left palm is face uh, turned in. Make sure you are flexing that right foot, pressing out with the heel. We don't wanna raise it up too high, we wanna press straight out. We have 15 more seconds.
five, four, three, two, one, and release. We are going to push on back into child's pose now. Hold here. Try to get your butt as close to the heels as possible. And when your butt is as close to your heels as possible, walk your fingertips as far forward as you can without lifting your butt. Now your head should be between the arms, ears by your biceps. From here, walk your hands over to the left, just enough to where we feel the stretch down the side of your back. We wanna keep your head between the arms. The arms are long, straight from the shoulder, ears still by the biceps. Then firmly press your right hand down on the floor. You should feel this down the right side of your back, down the lats. And walk those hands over to the right. Same thing, just enough to where we feel this down the left side of your back. Arms are long from the shoulder, head is between the arms. And firmly press that left hand down to the floor so we really feel this down the left side of the back. Back to center. And come on up into that tabletop position, hands and knees, cat, cow, arch and sway. So we're tucking our chin, tucking the tail, rounding the back. Then lift the chin, lift the tail and sway. Try to get as much flexion in the spine that you can. Take your time. Exaggerate each movement. From here, let's come on down flat on your stomach. Then bring your elbows back next to your chest. Hips stay down, chest comes up into that cobra. So we wanna feel this down the low back, stretch out the abdomen. So again, the hips must stay on the floor. Everybody's range of motion is different. So if you can't raise up as high, that's okay. And from here, we are going to come on down and roll over to your right side. When you are on the right, the hips are square. You can reach for that left ankle, pull the left heel back towards your butt for your quadriceps stretch. So you should feel this down the front of the leg. We wanna make sure that the knee is not forward. We wanna pull it back and push the hips forward. To get a better stretch, we can roll forward onto your stomach and hold here. You can rest your head down on your right hand. And 
and you can release. Same thing on the left. So if you can reach that ankle when you're on your stomach, great. If you need to roll to the left first, then that's fine. Whatever you need to, so you feel the stretch down the quadricep, down the front of that leg. <laughs> you can release and roll on over to your back take your time roll over to your back when you are on your back you can bring your arms out at shoulder height and drop the knees over to the right, head to the left, and hold. <laughs> and when you're ready, you can bring the knees over to the left, head to the right, and hold. Back to center. Extend both legs long, both arms long, overhead, reach in opposite directions, full body stretch, realign that spine. Then pull your right knee in towards your chest, hug the right knee in, and circle that foot in one direction. Same foot, opposite direction. And the opposite side, extend the right leg long, pull the left knee in towards your chest, hug it in and circle that left foot in one direction. Same foot, opposite direction. And release, extend both legs long. Then pull that right knee in towards your chest again. From here, we are going to go right into that hamstring stretch. So the back of the leg, extend that right foot up towards the ceiling, leg is straight, then pull that straight leg towards your chest for your hamstring stretch. and release, bend that knee, extend that leg long. Same thing on the opposite side, pull the left knee in towards your chest. Then when you're ready, you can extend that leg long, that foot is up towards the ceiling. And release. Bend both knees, feet flat on the mat, pelvic tilt. 
then from here we are going to take that right ankle place it on top of left knee let your right knee fall open to the right then from here we are going to reach behind your left knee and pull the left knee in towards your chest And release, uncross, then take your left ankle, place it on top of right knee, let the left knee fall open to the left, and when you are ready, reach behind that right knee and pull the right knee in towards your chest. And release, uncross. When you are ready, you can sit up, extend both legs long and flex your feet. Start with your hands behind your back. And then when you're ready, walk your hands as far forward as you can. Make sure we don't round the back. We wanna keep the chest up and walk your hands leading with your chest, reach towards your toes if you have the flexibility. Make sure your eyes are up, head is up, lift the chin. And you can release. Take your time, make your way up to standing. If you have weights on the floor, please watch out for the weights. So coming up to your feet. When you are up, you can grab a quick sip of water. I'm getting my weights out of the way so I don't trip on them. When you are up, and ready, no weights around you. You can start rolling those shoulders back. Bring your arms out at shoulder height. This time your palms will be up towards the ceiling. Push your thumbs back, look up towards the ceiling. So we're opening up that chest. We should feel this in the chest, in the biceps. And you can release. Now take that left arm overhead, bend at the elbow, hand comes behind the head, pull that elbow back. We should feel this down the tricep of the left side. Make sure you stand up tall, brace the core. Other side.
and release. Take your head and look to the right. Drop your chin. And the opposite side, drop your chin. Back to center, roll the shoulders back. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through your mouth. Two more. Last one. Good job today, everybody. Let me get in here.